Um, you know, it's funny because it was something that I like felt almost like ashamed of in the beginning because I had been in, you know, oh, right, I'd been in an MFA and then I'd been in the Stegner program at Stanford. And I feel like there was this sense that, um, especially when I was first starting to write, oh, oh thank you, my husband made me coffee. <laughs> thank you. We didn't have milk before, so that was that. That's <laughs> yes, a good guy. Um, so I think that like, when I was first um, when I was first starting to write, the stories that I read as models were um, these like very spare kind of like single scene stories where like everything would take place in like a kitchen or like a truck, and that was the whole story. And like it was like Raymond Carver and all these people. And I told, and I was like, oh, these, and they're so good. And so I wanted so much to write those kinds of stories, and I tried and I tried and I tried, and they were. And then, like, I just felt like they went. They came so unnaturally to me, and I'm not a spare writer. Like, I don't, you know, I love backstory, but all these oh things I was gosh, kind of like learning. And things. I love that about your stories. It just what it. I love the backstory. Just tell me, you know. I mean, I understand that there's importance and poignancy in this little moment <laughs> that we're looking at right now, but it's only, but it only matters because of all these big things that happened around it before it happened. I, I love it. I love it. So it's so incredible for me to hear oh, you. So bad. I just love that. And I know, well, I, uh, like, I know the advice, you know, just get in and get out, right? Like it has to be, like the short story has to be condensed and confined and it has to, I mean, you know, I'm describing it in ne negative ways and it doesn't have to be, but, right. uh -huh. oh, I'm so glad that you're saying it, and I love, like, that's, I think that that's what I love the most about the stories. So oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> I mean, it was something that I worried a lot about, like, in the early drafts, especially when I was writing the first stories, because I had this feeling of, like, I love backstory, and it's this, like, secret guilty pleasure that I have, like, when there's the scene, and then there's the space break, and then suddenly you get to, like, all the exciting stuff in the backstory, and I was like, this is what I love. But um, I felt like it was almost like it wasn't what I was supposed to be doing. But then what happened is, like, I just was like, I'm going to write the stories that I want to write because they're the only ones that I know how to write. And they're making, and they're so satisfying for me to write these. And then, like, through the years, I just started finding these other writers that did that. And that was really amazing. So, like, the first time that I read Alice Munro, I'm like, oh, this is what you can do in a 30-page story when you get all the backstory. And she just became such a model for me. Or um, Deborah Eisenberg, okay. Edith Perlman, um, Edward P. Jones. And once I kind of found these long, almost sort of, like, novelistic story writers and I saw what they were doing, then I was just like, okay, like, okay. I'm, I'm not, out. you know, I can... <laughs> And love, admire, and respect Raymond Carver, but I'm never going to be able to write that kind of story. And um, and so it was almost like it just took me so many years to find those models, mm -hmm. and then and then I felt good about it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I was one of my questions was to ask you, you know, about other other authors like that. So I'm very glad that you gave me a reading list as well. I mean, honestly, I feel like that's why I haven't. I you know I read novels all the time, but I don't read short stories as much because I think I just never found those those writers you know the um the the you know i don't have the list that you just i didn't have the list that you just gave me so i'm very excited um i know it took long also jumpa lahiri's her like her, her second collection of stories they're all between like 30 and 60 pages and i'm like oh like that to me is sort of like the perfect amount of time that i just want to spend with the, you know some characters so mm -hmm. 